Hi everyone, guess what we are doing today? An inner and outer thigh no jumping workout. Yes, no jumping because we are going to isolate the specific inner and outer thigh groups. And this workout will help you get those lean and toned legs. We'll be doing around 16 exercises. Most of the exercises will be back to back without any rest in between. And each exercise will be around 30 to 45 seconds each. There is a break of 5 seconds between few of the exercises, but I'll give you the instructions accordingly, so just follow that. And throughout this workout, I'd like you to focus on engaging those inner and outer thighs so that you are using just your thighs to do all the work. So if you guys are ready, let's get to it. First up, we have plie. Bring your legs wide apart, toes pointed out, hands spread out to the side and just squat down and come back up. It's very important that you keep your knees pointed out and at 90 degrees with the floor. It's a nice little warm up just to get your heart rate up. And you have to focus on squeezing those inner thighs. Now go ahead and lift up one heel and pulse right there. You'll feel it in your inner thighs. Put all your weight in that big toe of the raised heel and stay nice and tall. And we'll switch to the other leg now. Same thing here, raise one heel and just pulse up and down. Now stand tall and swing your left leg out to the side, pointing out your toes. And keep a slight bend in your left knee. You'll feel it in the outer thighs. Keep it nice and slow and controlled. You can also try staring at one particular spot on the floor to maintain your balance. Now switch sides and repeat. I kind of lost my balance there, <laughs> but it's okay. Now raise both your heels as much as you can and pulse, just tiny little pulses. Again go at your own pace here, slow and controlled. We'll do this exercise for 23 seconds after which we'll switch to a shifting plie. Now bend one knee at 90 degrees and without getting up, shift all your weight on the other knee while sitting back on the hips. You'll feel an instant stretch in your thighs. Just keep moving from side to side. Now let's take a break a few seconds here. Grab a drink of water if you want to. Now come down to the floor, we are doing all the exercises on the right leg first. So lie on your left side, bend your left elbow at 90 degrees. Lift your right leg up on the side, then bring it in front, slightly diagonal and lift again. Keep your foot flexed the whole time. And also try to keep your legs straight if you can.
we'll switch to leg circles next. Draw tiny leg circles with your right leg in a clockwise direction and point the toes this time. We'll switch the direction after 15 seconds. And now switch to counterclockwise direction. You'll see that the leg gets heavier and heavier with every single circle. Now sweep your right leg along the left leg that's extended on the ground, raise it upwards to the ceiling and bring it back down. But don't rest it on the other leg. Also point your toes like a ballerina. We'll switch direction after 15 seconds. And now switch. Now stay where you are or come completely down on the floor. Tap right leg in front of the mat, then lift and tap it at the back of the mat. Point the toes. Make sure you don't roll back on your left hip. Now quickly change sides, elbow bent at 90 degrees, cross left leg over the right leg and set it on the floor in front of you. Raise the right leg with toes pointed upward, engage your thighs throughout this exercise. In the same position, draw small circles clockwise with your right leg and toes pointed again. You'll feel a slow burn in your thighs. Now reverse the direction and draw circles counterclockwise. We have clappers next. Bring the left leg behind you and extend the right leg out diagonally. Left arm up, lift the right leg and tap its heel, then bring it back down. Flex the right foot the whole time. Use only the inner thighs to lift that leg up. We are majorly working the inner thighs right now. Stay in the same position and keep a slight bend in the right knee. Swing the leg up and to the side as if you are drawing the letter U. Your inner thighs should be on fire by now. We have finished all outer and inner thigh exercises on the right leg. Now it's time to work the left leg out. Stay in the same position. We are going to repeat all the exercises on the left leg now. You know what to do, so just follow me along.
Now we have scissors. Lie down on your back and place hands under your butt for support. Raise both the legs up to the ceiling and open them sideways. Then bring them in and cross over at the top as if you are cutting air with scissors. Keep your toes pointed and legs straight. Also alternate the leg that's on the top while crisscrossing. Squeeze those inner thighs. Frog presses now. Touch heels of your feet together, toes flexed and pointed out. Just press your legs forward and upward. That's all. This exercise really targets your inner thighs. You want to press the heels against each other the whole time. Don't let them move apart. Now in the same position, keeping feet flexed, you are going to cross the ankles on top of each other and move the legs up and down using just your thighs. Sorry. Now in the same position, keeping feet flexed, you are going to cross the ankles on top of each other and move the legs up and down using just your thighs. Now change the leg that's on the top. This exercise is really effective for inner thighs. That's all and we are done with the workout. Don't forget to stretch at the end.
the workout guys. I hope your thighs are burning right now. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys did. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.